All right, you've taken your $50 and given it to somebody and now you have a spectrum analyzer. So I want to encourage people to uh, enjoy the hobby and do a bunch of experiments and stuff. So now that you have a spectrum analyzer, just don't use it to measure a radio or something. Let's do electronics with it. Let's, let's do like real engineering. Um, so I want to show you one thing you could do with it today. Of course, there's tons of stuff you can do with it. But uh, I decided to build a little uh, parallel resonance circuit. So there's an inductor and there's a capacitor and sir in uh, parallel with one another. And I just mounted it on a two B and C. So I have this little thing and I expect it to be resonant at some frequency. I'm not sure where I just kind of winged it, right? About a quarter inch diameter, you know, six millimeters or something, um, four turns. A lot of times you'll see kits and stuff that say, oh, I'll just do a three turn, a four turn. They don't tell you how many, how many Henry's it is. They just say three or four turns and stuff. So here's a four turn with 47 picofarads. So four turns, 47 picofarads. It sort of feels to me like it should be like VHF type thing, right? Uh, about the right size for VHFs, <laughs> but I have no idea. All right. So uh, we're going to use the noise source. Uh, we need to have some type of tracking generator, but we don't have one. So we're going to use a noise source. So first we're going to make sure our noise source works. We're going to uh, put it, put the noise source in the, uh, Onto the uh, onto the spectrum analyzer, and it's uh, it's pretty flat. So you could normalize it and be all fancy and everything, but we don't need to have any of that because all we want to know is what frequency does it resonate at. Okay, all right. So let's go back. We'll take this out. We'll replace the uh, uh, the through BNC with our filter or whatever you want to call it, our resonant circuit. Okay, so we're going to put it on our resonant circuit. And then we're going to go over to the spectrum analyzer and look at that. We are getting resonance. And so we can use our marker and we can try to find out where it resonates. And it resonates at 78.7. Uh, .7. So 78.7, remember that. All right. So what can you do with this number? 78.7. Well, uh, we know the frequency and we know the capacitance, but we don't know the inductance. So let's calculate what our inductor is. We, we know we made one, but we don't know what it was. <laughs> so let's go calculate it. Uh, let me just take this off so it doesn't fall, uh, that won't fall on the floor, but this will. Okay. So time for some math. Everybody loves math, right? Let me move the camera a bit. All right, everybody loves math, right? Uh, I uh, studied physics and uh, if you study physics, you have to take lots and lots and lots of mathematics. And uh, so I was just a few units away from getting a math degree. So uh, I went ahead and got one of those too. <laughs> uh, not that I've ever used my math degree, but I have it on paper. All right. So um, frequency of a resonant circuit is one over two pi square root of LC. You can find that in, in books and stuff. So let's we know what we know what f is and we know what c is. So we have to solve for l. So uh, we can move uh, this over here and the f over there, and you get this one. And then we can uh, move the uh, move the f over here and and uh, these guys over here, and then square it. Let's see what did I just do? No, we squared it. Ah, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to uh, square this side. We're going to square that side. And um, we're going to move the 2 pi over here. And that square of the LC gets rid of the square root. So we have LC equals that. And L equals uh, all of that divided by C, right? Okay. So I'm just being lazy. Okay. So L equals, L equals all of that. So what do we know? We know our frequency is 70, what was it? 78.7 megahertz. And we know that our C was 47 picofarads. Okay. When you use these formulas, uh, you have to make sure you understand the units. So uh, we need this in Hertz. So this is equal to 78.7 E to the six Hertz. And this is 47 E to the minus 12 farads. Okay. And so when we calculate the equation, we'll get Henry's, right? So these are all the fundamental units. All right, so let's get out our, 
Let's get out our trusty calculator. Um, let's see. So we have uh, 78.7 e to the 6. All right. And we want to multiply that by pi and multiply that by 2 and take 1 over that and square it. And then we're going to divide that by 47e to the minus 12. And we get L equals 87 nanohenries. Okay? E to the minus 9. So, all right, there you go. 87 nanohenries. Uh, this is the circuit that we measured. Uh, a parallel resonant circuit. Some people say anti-resonant, but a resonant circuit, and we have calculated an unknown inductor from a known frequency and a known capacitance.